All right, well, here's our system as it's installed. It's still, uh, the sun is just peeking through the clouds, so there's still condensate sitting on top of the, the coils. Um, I didn't want the panels put up on a roof. As you can see, we've got a solid log home, and I just didn't want to drill into the roof and have the piping all running down the outside of the house. Um, obviously, you couldn't snake it through the exterior walls. Uh, so we built this frame. My friend Mark came over and helped me. We built this last Sunday and uh, on Thursday New England Solar Hot Water came and installed this. Um, we have two Wagner collector panels. As you can see there's an intake and a, a return on each panel and they're hooked in series. Up at the top here and just a minute without getting too shaky. Um, you can see there's a, a sensor wire that goes in. That's the reading that we get inside on the storage tank. It's a very simple bolt-on connection for the panels. There's these two aluminum rails, one on each side. Um, they're held to the roof with two bolts that are sealed. Um, and then these rails bolt to those. And then these panels are clipped on to the rails. Um, the added benefit of adding the panels onto this framework is it gives me some more storage. I don't know if I'm going to use it just for piling cordwood in or if I'll enclose it and use it for extra storage since we don't have an attic in the house. Um, just one more place to collect things. The um, Supply and return lines are buried in this uh, four inch piping. I'm going to eventually backfill it. It comes in underneath the decking here. There's a 90 where it comes up through. And you can see we've got the, the tubing run up through the framework where it goes into the top panel. Down below is where it's from the bottom panel both feed back through here. It's a really very simple design but it works great. This is our 25 year old hot water heater. Um, it's still being used. Basically it was just another zone off our boiler. Cold water from the well would be pumped into the bottom of this tank and heated by the coil and pumped out the top of the tank up to the, the rest of the house. Um, the coil was hooked right up to this old boiler, so whenever we need hot water, we're burning oil. Now, this new tank is hooked in series, so instead of the old tank getting water directly from the well, the potable water supply comes from this tank um, that's currently overnight. The temperature's hung around 125 degrees, so the boiler's never having to kick on as long as we have enough solar storage. Okay, there are three temperature sensors uh, in this system. One up on the collectors, one at the bottom of the storage tank, and one at the top of the storage tank. When you first press one of these buttons, it turns on the backlight and starts out at the collector temperature, which is currently 134.7 degrees. You press the plus button, it takes you, well, I went a little too far. There we go. Second one, um, the bottom of the tank, as indicated by the blinking light, is currently at 114 degrees. And the third sensor, which is at the top of the tank, you can see the light blinking right there, uh, that's at 125 degrees. Um, the pump just kicked on a short time ago as the collectors uh, heated up from the sun and uh, got to the point where they can start making hot water. So um, it's a variable speed pump. If you click through um, and get to this setting here, N percent, you'll see that the pump is uh, running at 40%. And since we installed the system a day, day and a half ago, um, it's run for nine hours. So we've had nine hours of actual hot water making time.
This is the new storage tank. It has a 119 gallon capacity. Uh, it has three coils in it. The first coil contains the glycol that is circulated through the uh, collectors outside. Um, here you can see where uh, sensor number two is at the bottom of the tank. Um, it also has a second coil that we don't currently have plumbed in. This is in the event that um, our old Ford stone-lined water heater that we've had since we built the house ever goes bad. We have to remove it. We can just plumb the boiler right into here. So that would be the, um, the secondary heat source. Um, there's also a third electric coil in the middle of the tank back behind here um, that we can wire in in case we want to use uh, electric as the backup source. You can hear a little bit of gurgling now. Uh, the pump is running, cycling the glycol through the system.